In this video, I'm going to show you all you need to know before 3D printing with PLA filament. If you're new to 3D printing, then you've probably seen that there are a number of different filaments available to print with, and it can be confusing trying to decide which one is right for you. PLA is often advised to be the first filament that you should print with, but why? What makes it the best beginner filament? What print settings should you use? And how should you dispose of it? In this video, I'll answer all of these questions and more. PLA, or polylactic acid, is often referred to as an environmentally friendly filament because it's produced from plant-based sources rather than fossil fuels. It's also said that PLA is biodegradable, which may be technically true, but as we'll see, it's not that simple. First, let's look at why you might want to use PLA. PLA is one of the easiest filaments to print with due to it not needing any special circumstances to get good print results. Printing temperatures are some of the lowest of all filaments, and a heated bed isn't a necessity like it is with some others. There's no need to enclose your printer when printing with PLA, as it doesn't give off any toxic fumes and is far less prone to warping than other filaments like ABS. PLA is one of the least expensive filaments, is available in the largest selection of colours, and has a low hygroscopicity, which means that it doesn't absorb moisture as fast as some other filaments like nylon. PLA can be sanded easily for painting, but not polished or smooth like ABS. PLA prints can be relatively rigid, and PLA doesn't compress easily. With all of these positives, it's easy to see why PLA is recommended as a good filament to start with. However, there are a few negatives to printing with PLA. Some of the mechanical properties of PLA are not as good as other filaments. Most notably, PLA has a low heat resistance and can be very brittle with poor layer adhesion when compared to some other options. PLA's glass transition temperature, or the temperature that it goes all floppy, is only 60 to 65 degrees C, which is 140 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. On a summer's day, a PLA part can easily deform inside a hot car. Also, as PLA is biodegradable, its mechanical structure breaks down, especially when exposed to sunlight. Well, at least it's not going to add to the plastic pollution problem, you might be thinking. Well, it's not quite that simple. PLA does break down, but very slowly. It is classified as being compostable, but don't expect it to decompose in your garden compost pile. It's only compostable in industrial composting facilities, and I don't know about you, but I don't know how to take my PLA waste to an industrial composting facility. You can't put PLA in your household recycling bin, and if it gets buried in landfill, it's estimated it will take between a hundred and a thousand years to break down. It's not sounding so environmentally friendly now, is it? But then we also need to look at the alternatives. There isn't an environmentally friendly 3D printer filament just yet, although people are working on it. So hopefully, as it is possible to dispose of PLA responsibly, there will come a time when local waste processes will take it. In the meantime though, I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do with it. So if you are going to use PLA for 3D printing, what are some good uses for it? PLA is a good filament to use for aesthetically pleasing parts, quick prototypes, and parts that will be kept indoors. It's not really suitable for any print that needs to go outside, be exposed to any heat, or anything that needs any kind of strength. As PLA is so popular, all the different slicer options will have a good standard profile for PLA. Whenever using a new filament, you should do a temperature tower to find the best temperature for that particular filament. But generally, PLA likes a printing temperature of between 180 and 210 degrees C. Bed temperatures can be anywhere from zero to 60 degrees C. When it comes to print surfaces, PLA is very forgiving. It will stick to all commercially available print surfaces and should release when cooled. If you're enjoying this video, then hit like and think about subscribing. I make regular content to help people with 3D printing and other projects. PLA is often mixed with other ingredients to improve on some of its weaknesses, but unfortunately these things make it less environmentally friendly and harder to dispose of. So to sum up, PLA is arguably the easiest filament to print with, comes in hundreds of different colours and doesn't cost very much. It doesn't give off any harmful fumes, so it's therefore safe to print with if you want to print inside your house. However, your parts printed from PLA won't be as strong as they could be and won't stand up to any kind of heat. If you think you might want to try PLA, I've put some links in the description to some tried and trusted brands that should make it easier for you to get started. If you want to learn more about 3D printer filament, click here. Or alternatively, click here for another video you might enjoy. Thanks for watching.